The Chicago Board of Trade on LaSalle Street symbolizes capitalism, money, and success. Take LaSalle Street north two miles and you'll find another venerable structure, LaSalle Street Church. We honestly believe that the church in our century can eradicate poverty, but we got to stand up and do it. No less for capitalism and more for urban good works, LaSalle Street Church reaped a $1.6 million windfall a few years ago. The money came from the sale of a nearby property. The interdenominational church spent months trying to figure out what to do with the cash. For starters, the church tithed 10% or $160,000 to its active attendees. Everyone received $500 a piece in the fall of 2014. Literally, you all got a check for $500. You did nothing to earn it. You, you, didn't, you didn't have to take a test. You didn't have to get a degree. You didn't have to prove yourself. You just got $500 out of the clear blue sky. Listen to how members spent their money. Well, I gave my $500 to an organization called GEM which is Global Eyeglass Ministry. And so we went out and we bought $250 worth of Dunkin' Donuts cards and then handed them out. We decided to create a scholarship fund for three undocumented students um, that are just incredible and working so hard. And we Chicago um, Alliance to End Homelessness slash Emergency Fund. Uh, and this organization is uh, all about helping the homeless. Help a very niche community um, of LGBT homeless youth. I decided to uh, give the $500 to the Granville Friendship Homes. It's a home for uh, men and women with developmental disabilities. I and my husband combined our $500. Together we gave $1,000 to World Vision. We'd been sponsoring two girls. The girls she sponsors are Tanzanian. Visiting their sponsored family, Ami Campbell and her family saw firsthand the challenges of daily life. <laughs> Campbell and LaSalle Street's minister co-authored a book about the church's $500 giveaway and what they learned. It's called Love, Let Go. You know, when we're all giving $500 together, we saw all of these other people doing things that were meaningful and powerful and expressive of who they are. And you start to tap into that feeling in yourself. It starts in gratitude. It always starts in gratitude. We don't give unless we recognize what we've been given. People who give grow. It's just super powerful. Um, and people who give sacrificially grow even faster. It's, it's, it's a, your, your character on steroids or something. It, it uh, the lesson I learned from it is really one about sort of the larger theme of being in a community that considers um, living into generosity as opposed to scarcity, because we can all get stuck with, oh, the medical bills I have piled up at home, or what am I going to do about my credit card bills? or my Campbell works in marketing, so she knows a thing or two about social science and its data. If, you're, if you surround yourself with kind people, you're going to be kind. It's just <laughs> how we work, how our brains are wired. And so if you are around generous people, you will become more generous because... Love Let Go is only the most recent in the church's 125-year-old history. This is the story of one church and its response to the needs of the inner city. This 1969 documentary, The Heart Cannot Run, featured LaSalle Street's minister at the time. I think the most painful area for me to walk through is the area out behind our church. Our feelings are, are immense as we walk through the community. Many of them are in prison here. This is a very real prison for them. I don't think any of them are there by choice. They're there because there's nowhere else to go and they can't get out. We have had to ask ourselves, who are our neighbors? 50 years later, and LaSalle Street Church continues to see and to help its neighbors both near and far. You saw all of a sudden 
that actually pretty much everything that comes into your life is a gift. It's just like that $500. And so when you start to see that everything you have is a gift and you f feel that gratitude, that's when you want to start giving it all away. Julie Peterson, Chicago.